What is going on, people inside the internet machine? Welcome to this episode of The Pickups. We're going to start off a little weird. My parents uh, sold their house. <clears throat> you know, all the kids are gone. We've been gone for a while. Uh, so they downsized. They had a huge yard sale. They got rid of a bunch of stuff. You guys may have seen on my Facebook. Tubs and tubs of old baseball cards from the, the 90s and 80s and 90s, that kind of stuff. And... Uh, yeah, what I forgot to show you was some games that they had that uh, they were going to just throw away. So I was like, heck, I'll take those. So, uh, yeah, here we go. These are PC games. I know, weird. I don't really do PC, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these games. I may just trade them or try and sell them. I don't know. Whatever. But I wasn't going to let them get thrown away, that's for sure. We've got uh, Delta Force 2. I remember playing this when I was a kid. 1999. So I wasn't really a kid. <laughs> yeah, awesome. With the cardboard sleeve. Uh, these must have been my brother's games because I never played Cabela's Big Game Hunter. And uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Although I think that's a cool idea. I've never really gotten into the games. I tried them to see if... Okay, so this one is Corkscrew Follies... Expansion pack and this one is loopy landscape which includes Corkscrew Fog. I don't know man. If you guys know anything about these PC games, let me know uh, Cool series here. These again aren't my games, but Sim Isle Sim Park Sim Town Sim Copter Sim Tower with no back art I Check to make sure the games in there all right, so if you're into sim games and you want to trade for those or buy them, whatever, I don't care. Um, I thought this was actually kind of funny. Uh, Tetris Games. <laughs> like, I know Nintendo has been trying to recapture the magic of the original Tetris, but, you know, Tetris Sphere and stuff, like, that's dumb, okay? Regular Tetris is the best. That That's your best version of Tetris right there. Straight up and down. Pieces falling out of the sky classic here man if you grew up if you grew up in the 80s and early 90s this was a staple in your classroom right here the Oregon Trail classic edition because they do make they do make new versions of Oregon Trail and I think there's one um, on the DS or something but yeah look at that 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 map screen will take you back right there I saw it and I was like man I'm gonna keep this even though it'll never get played see if it needs to be resurfaced nope super minty Gotta love it. Alright, you guys know I'm a big darts fan, so I snagged this one. This is a Elite Darts. I am a huge dart fan. I used to play in leagues and tournaments and stuff back in the day, so... When my friends come over, that's all we do now is drink beer and play darts like a bunch of chuckleheads. Uh, Daryl Gates, Police Quest, Open Season. It says Police Quest 4 on it. Never got into the Police Quest series. Looks pretty cool. I spend all my time on the range. Uh, this, man, this one brings back memories right here. Um, I'll talk about this in a gaming memories episode. But uh, it's Area 51 for the PC. That manual is thick. It's thick like a pickle. All right. And then these last two games, man. I, I remember playing these, you know... In my parents' basement, because <laughs> that's what, that's where gamers come from, their parents' basement. And, uh, man, I love Star Wars and the whole Star Wars universe, as you can tell. Star Wars X-Wing, best game, best simulation, Editor's Choice Award. Wow, you can't say enough nice things about Star Wars X-Wing. Yeah, pretty awesome. I'll probably end up keeping that just because I'm such a huge Star Wars fan. Unless somebody absolutely has to have it or wants it. I got this game for the PlayStation 1. Both discs are there, which is awesome. It is Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. This game, okay, you got to put things in the context of time a lot of times, right? Because we could say, oh man, the graphics back in the day. And you're like, no, I mean, I played the new Ratchet and Clank game. It is so much better than Ratchet and Clank on PS2. Or the new Mario games look better than, you know, 8 Mario, which is subjective, by the way. But. When this game came out and I played it, I was like, I'd never seen anything like that. This was 1995 is when this came out. 
and uh, you know there's full motion video there's like first person shooter when you're when you're in the ships and stuff and then there's sort of those pre-rendered like mortal Kombat style graphics uh when it comes to stormtroopers and your character and you're hiding behind stuff and you gotta like you know snap and bound out and shoot at bad guys it was just amazing uh the part where you have to fly the millennium falcon through like the caves and through the death star and you have to turn it just the right way is a pain in the ass because i hate controls where down is up and up is down you know what i mean if i want to go down then i just want to push down on the d-pad if i want to go up you guys know what i'm talking about but anyway i love that game and uh, because i have it on the ps2 or ps1 rather I'd, I'd probably get rid of that if somebody wanted to trade for it so all right that is a trip down memory lane for the pc games Let's go game hunting, man. I gotta find some real people games. Good morning, team YouTube. How are things going? It is October 13th. I actually took tonight off, so we're gonna hit up some garage sales. I saw that there were some posted on Craigslist. It's getting kind of cool here in Ohio in mid-October, but uh, we're gonna see what's out there. And uh, you get anybody else just have one of those days where you wish you were kidnapped by Yese Asha? All right, so the yard sales have been a bust. Let's check out the thrift stores. guys we tried to do some garage sales it's sort of mid-october uh by the time you're seeing this it might even be november but it, it's starting to get cooler so you're not seeing as many garage sales some of you guys that live in warm weather you get garage sales all year round which is awesome very jealous but uh you know i decided to hit some up and i, I didn't really find anything the guy had you know raiders of the lost ark for atari and something else but anyway i was like let's hit thrift stores it was half off blue tag day so for three dollars we picked up wave race for the game boy i know that mc Murr is looking at collecting game boy next year doing a game boy year of the game boy or something you know so i picked that up thought maybe i could give it to him if he needed it or wanted it but um 
I've never been a big fan of the Wave Race series. i got to be honest with you. I don't like the buoy system. I don't like that you're telling me I have to go on the left side or the right side of the buoy. That's sort of what the, the track layout is for, to tell you how to get around you know, certain areas. And I, I certainly don't like that you get penalized for it. If you didn't have to go through those buoys, and maybe if you went to the left and the right of the buoys, as it said, to build up a boost meter or a trick meter or something, then that would be better. But the Wave Race series, I know it's a touchy subject because some of you guys really love Wave Race. And it's fun to bust out and play every now and then. But the Superior Arcade Racing Aquatic Game is Hydro Thunder for the PlayStation 1, hands down. Alright, so while I was at that thrift store, I did get a PlayStation game that was half off. So I got that for $3. You'll see that in your the PlayStation. But I saw a stack of DS games and you guys, there, there wasn't anything spectacular in there. But I noticed this game was on a separate stack that was kind of not on their not on their collector shelf shelves, but it was sort of to the side. But it's uh, Yoshi's Island DS. I got that for six bucks. Unfortunately, that wasn't half off. But for six bucks, I didn't want to leave it because it's still like a fifteen dollar game. So I'll throw that up on Craigslist uh, right after the video and try and get that sold. Make a little cake. Turn that cake, bro. All right. All right. So this is like. The second week of the pickups, um, didn't really find anything you guys saw, eh? We got some good stuff. We got Yoshi's DS, but I decided, you know, hey, let's go out another week and see what we can find. We definitely did a lot better. However, <laughs> um, about 60% of this stuff was PlayStation stuff, so that's in the year of the PlayStation. All right, so found this, this bad boy right here. This is a sweet little cake turner, pie burner, bread pounder right here. This is the New York Times Deluxe Edition Touchscreen Crossword Puzzle. Got that at Goodwill for $4.99. Still in there with the bubble wrap, the instructions, the stylus comes with it. Everything works. It's pretty awesome, actually. But here in the north, as uh, the winter sort of looms in, the snowbirds migrate south. And if you live in a southern state, you know what the snowbirds are. Um, our older population likes to not be here during the winter and drive down to, like, Arizona and Florida and stuff. And on their travels, they love stuff like this, little pocket Yahtzees and you know, travel games that they can take with them. And uh, this bad boy right here in the box is going for about 40 bucks on eBay. Uh, someone's got one for $39.99, free shipping. I'm going to post it for 30 bucks here locally. And anybody that wants to give me 25 bucks for it, it's all theirs. Well, five times our money on that one. Boom. Always keep always keep an eye out for those little handheld games, you know, like the, the Yahtzees and the Connect 4s, especially if they're factory sealed and you can get them for, you know, a couple bucks at thrift store. They, they typically sell, so. All right, went to my favorite thrift store. Orange Tag was 75 cent day. Uh, picked up Turok Evolution. Again, I'm not really collecting for the Xbox Complete, but for 75 cents, I'll definitely snag it. And what I've done is I have a plastic tote and all these Xbox games that I don't want, I'm gonna throw in that tote and take them to conventions next year and sell them for, you know, two for or three dollars a piece two for five that kind of thing and a lot of those games i got for for 75 cents so they've been piling up now it's sort of time to pay pay some dividends on it get a little cash back so we'll put turok up here buy our little cake factory all right so i went to goodwill last stop of the day was at goodwill and um I'm trying to think i picked up eight playstation games while i was there playstation playstation 2 games but they did have some non-playstation related stuff First thing I picked up, I saw this sort of in the back behind the games in their glass counter, so I was like, heck yeah. For $1.99, we picked up an Xbox 360. This is a wired controller, and it comes with the USB part, which is awesome. Now, these Mad Cat controllers, uh, they're not as expensive as the Microsoft ones. Those ones sell for, you know, 15 to 20 This one goes for about $10 uh, to 12 but it, it should clean up pretty nice. We'll throw it up for 10 bucks and uh, make some money on that. I might keep it. Parents love wired controllers so because they don't have to buy battery packs. They don't have to buy battery chargers. You know what I mean? So, love it. I'll probably end up selling that to a parent. I can almost guarantee it because the last four that I picked up, sold them to parents. Okay, had some Dreamcast games. They had Royal Rumble. Was, I have that game. It's missing the, uh, the, the manual. But I did pick up for three bucks WWF Attitude. Again, you don't see a lot of Dreamcast stuff out there. So, when you see it, especially at Goodwill's, you feel obligated to buy it, which is cool. You know, we'll just throw it in the old collection or whatever. And uh, it'll probably never get played. It'll be one of those games that I end up flipping later for 10 bucks or something. 
All right, definitely excited to have this in the collection. Did not have this in my GameCube collection, and every time when I do a collection video, I go out and I find games within the next month uh, for the console that I did the collection video for, but it's Pac-Man Versus and Pac-Man World 2, the old compilation disc. Nice and complete, both discs, the manuals, uh, registration card, all that stuff, so... Love, love popping in Pac-Man every now and then and uh, making a run at it. I'm not very familiar with the, the Pac-World 2. Kind of looks like a 3D platformer type game. May give that a try. But, uh, yeah, love Pac-Man. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the pickups. Thanks for sticking around. Let me know in the comment section down below what games you have been picking up and what games you've been playing. And as always, guys, we'll see you on the next one.